Night everyone, coming at you from a sleepy Wednesday night. This is Joe, Ordinary Gamer, Ordinary Dad again, continuing our Let's Play of uh, Ender Lilies, which I said wrong on the last video, but no one's seen the last video, so that's okay. Um, so here we go. This is part three of the Ender Lilies playthrough. Um, we just finished the Catacombs boss. Um, Sly Sylvia, I think her name is, uh, but she gave us this Hollow Knight-esque dash. So we have a couple of options now. Um, we can go down to uh, the stockade, or we can go up to, I think there's like the fortress and the, and the palace. Um, so the first playthrough, I've done one other playthrough of this. Uh, and the fortress and the palace are above us, stockade is down below. Um, the only playthrough I did of this, I went to the Fortress and Palace next because it is a neighboring zone from here. Um, so that snow zone we found in the last one. So I'm actually going to change things up. I'm going to go Stockade first and see if that uh, uh, makes things more interesting. Um, not actually sure which zone is harder, but I will say the Stockade's uh, movement ability is the grappling hook that we keep on passing and not being able to use. So um, that might be fortuitous for us. Yeah. So I'm going to check to see if this is the entrance. I'm not even sure if this is the right entrance, to be honest, but we'll figure it out. And, uh, you know, when you enter this portion of the game, for any uh, previous Hollow Knight player, um, intuitively, you basically can... Uh, bring your skill sets back because now you do have a dash the dash is resettable i think you can i think you can even dash um see so if you can dash then double jump yeah you can so it is exactly hollow knight mechanics as you recall before you could not double jump after your dash and now you can so you're Strictly back to Hollow Knight mechanics, and it should feel very familiar, very comfortable for anyone who's played Hollow Knight. So that is, whoops, um, that is where I thought we were going, but apparently not. Must be like a back exit or something. Not sure what that is. Let's go up a little higher to get into the stockades. Um, so what we are trying to do is we're trying to go into the area that gets gives us the grappling hook which will allow us to attach these lanterns right above me um, look up at it um, but um, that area is called like the stockades or underpass or anything it's a half water level and then half very darkly lit level uh, it's got a gorgeous save room um, but we're definitely coming to um, the area of the game where I am less familiar with, obviously, since I just got us lost. That's great. All right. Make sure my antivirus doesn't get us killed. Um, so, let's go back to where we're supposed to go. Let's see if I can... I don't think I can actually get over here without... Let's see... There's that, but this is fine. But this last jump, I think I need the uh, pretty, yeah, definitely need the grappling hook there. I'm, I'm a good bit short. So, um, not the entrance stockade. We can return to the respite, last save respite, and then we will simply go back to the other respite that's right above us and take that one to the stock game. So let's see. Little. So it must be, unless it's below, maybe it's below. I'm looking at the red dots that come off the map. Um, it's either the entrance is right above us in this red dot to the right here, or it's right below us, red dot there. I'm gonna go above. I thought it was pretty high, but I could be mistaken. I think the dash gets you in the stockade, but I could be mistaken about that too. So, 
Sit tight. We'll do a little exploration. Um, there are still some items to pick up in these rooms. Remember, if the room is still blue and not gold, the game is telling you that you missed something there. So all these rooms are worth going through again to make sure we can get all the items. And with our dash, it's way easier to gap close on these guys and just uh, one-shot them with our Gerard knows best. All right, I do think this... Yeah, so that was a double jump. Oops, that backfired. <coughs> so if you're speed running this game, or if you've seen anyone play this game, um, there's a lantern there, um, but we have swimming. So this is the swimming into the stockades. Um, it is possible to get in the stockades without doing that double jump. So you have some swim mechanics here. Woo. Or I could just run into the first spike uh, and play the fool. Um, so you can dash through those spikes. They're not a one-hit KO, but they hit you pretty hard. And I was already screwing around from the birds in the previous room. Um, so a second environmental death. Might as well keep track. Um, it will not be the last. Um, there's lots of near one hit KO area so we got knocked in the spikes and we got knocked in the blood pool by the uh, that mimic in the catacombs this is our two environmental deaths so far one thing to note you get a air reset for your auto attacks with Gerard after you dash so normally he does one two done if you do one, you can dash and do one, two again. So you can get four air strikes with Gerard, which is uh, somewhat useful. There we go. Guess I should try and conserve a little more health this time. Still a uh, thing there. All right, so you can dash through these things. Um, I was just being careless going into it. And then you can just slow swim it too. That's fine as well. This gets a little low lighting, a little atmospheric for going into the stockades. Um, initially, when I was playing this game, I was like, oh man, this must be like an intense spot. Um, but in reality, it's just another, it's just another zone. It's nothing... Um, you know, epic boss area about this. Um, so, in all good games, you get scaling of abilities. So first, they're like, they put these spikes out here and they say, okay, these spikes might damage you, be careful. And then they put the spikes so that you actually have to swim right through them. And then they put the spikes um, uh, that move. And so they keep on upping the difficulty. Uh, and that's just classic good old game scaling. You introduce a new concept and then you make variations on that concept and you quickly scale it up to be more difficult. So that's just good game design right there. Love it. And then you can totally dash through these spikes when they're covering up everything. That dash through that spike lets you know that you can dash through these spikes. Now you got two, two of them surging. Um, and um, get this little there are a couple water um, puzzles in reality these are just dashing puzzles because um, oh my gosh um, because your water mechanics is just your dash so more than the swimming mechanics these are just uh, these are just dashing puzzles where you have to dash through these uh, areas but uh, still fun there's a few of these. There's one. There's also a the acid version of water in this game is blood, um, and so you know whereas you have water and lava in Super Metroid, water, lava, and acid in some of the other Metroid games, uh, the damaging water physics uh, medium is actually like a blood water in this game. Um, and uh, so even with the equivalent to the suit that protects you against the blood, um, 
you still take damage continuously, so it puts a little extra um, pep in your step, a little extra urge and uncertainty. So a little more lore. Um, we're down here in the stockade. We have another one of these reflecting pools, which you know I've ranted and raved about, or I've raved about before. It's gorgeous, and then you know you have the falling water effects. Ender Lilies really got water well. Did did water well. Um, it's actually very. Water has kind of been an interesting um, evolution for both the animation movies but also animation and games because it's something that's very complex to animate but um, um, everyone knows what it looks like everyone sees water every day and so in that sense um, people can know instantly if it's appears fraud like which makes it very problematic to actually animate so there's a lot going on in the stockades here. The first is you'll see these red walls here. We cannot break these yet, even though they look similar to um, the down red lava doors. Uh, that's actually the that's actually an ability from uh, either the royal palace or the um, um, so these guys are interesting. As you see, they will teleport behind you and try and snipe you. Um, they do get two comboed by Gerard, so you definitely need to have Gerard level three before you come to the stockade. Otherwise, you get swarmed by these guys. Um, interestingly enough, they're going to be a part of the boss fight that's coming up, so I better get my game together with fighting those guys, because I'm going to fight essentially an infinite amount of them. They are the... They are the, um, soft and rage mechanic of the boss fight that's coming up. So, like the stockades, you can enter each one of these jails and basically get an item or something piece of lore in each one of these jails. Um, this looks... So, we know by the room being blue that there's something here and there's water dripping down here, which means I, it makes me think that we would need to wall climb up here um, since you see the ceiling drop away. So I feel like you can wall climb up there, but... Um, I do not have the wall climb ability either. That's from the castle. So that one's going to have to wait. And again, you're going to try and hit one with Gerard. And then you're going to uh, hit one with the sword to do the stun lock. And that's how you do it. Um, we're actually taking a ton of damage from these guys right now, which is unfortunate because this is actually a pretty long run to the next um, area. So obviously, you know, that pot is discolored from the other, so there's going to be a mimic in that one. So we just proc it. Come on. You can't tell me I'm not close enough to proc that. Oh. Oh, yeah, there. It's a super mimic. That's great. So, Super Mimic, um, actually not too difficult, all things considered. Um, I don't know if I got hit by him, but I'm very low on life, so I'm going to have to heal again, which is all three of my heals. Um, 
So I might just go back to the rest rest point and do the bottom half of this. I think I will do that. So we're gonna go back here. We're gonna rest, then we're gonna go to the same room and we're gonna do the bottom three rooms. That's yeah, just a fast way to restore your heals. But we're gonna go to the same. We're gonna go to the upper path and we're gonna do the, the three bottom cells now. There's still a wolf here, so be ready. There we go. Oh, there's another one. All right. All right, hold on a second. All right, so we had my daughter come in for her goodnight kiss, and subsequently we took a couple shots of damage here, but uh, here we go. Let's go out and heal. <laughs> Free damage by the skeletons. But that's the way it goes. Yeah, let's see what they're guarding. They are guarding lore. Really do not care about that. Let's be honest. Right. Skeleton's pretty easy to clear. Get a little chain of sorcery there. That's nice. I actually pretty low on relics. I probably should, after this boss, I should probably farm um, these zones a little bit. I am definitely relic deficient. I have like 20... Whoops. Also not what I wanted to do. Let's see. Let's fight this guy away from the... Or we'll just go. Definitely did not want to fall down there. It's akin to the uh, catacombs. All right, so there's a save point in this room. We will take that. So again, I'm not super facile with the um, stockades. I believe the boss is right below me. Maybe not, though. There is a water portion that I'm avoiding right now. Oops. Let's not take our second death here. Oh, there it is. Yep. Got some blight though. Upgrade some of our abilities. I am actually pretty lost as to where I am. Let me upgrade some spirits here. See what we can do. So oops. Um enhance. Yes that and then we can also probably enhance the bird I need one 270 to get the next enhancement get an extra projectile should be nice free damage all right let's see what this is I feel like this is no this is a water section the boss is not a water boss um, don't think there are any water bosses in this game. So, when you don't have green slime flying everywhere, these guys are way more manageable. Alright, now we are good to go. Wife and daughter have been put to bed. 
That is when the Gothic games come out. We're just going to airstall on this guy here. Oh. I already used my double dash. Okay, or that happens. Wow, old school. Haven't seen that guy in a while. Alright, let's let this guy get behind us. Ooh, try to anticipate. Anticipation was no good. A lot of EXP. This might be a later zone than aforementioned palace. Oh, I do think, actually, I might have to go into that water to raise all these platforms. No, I have no idea where I am. Never mind. <laughs> there is a water zone where you can get through by raising a bunch of platforms from the water. These guys remind me of Blasphemous. There's lots of guys that dash at you in Blasphemous. Wow, I came to this... I'm in this room. It's got a billion exits, and it says I've already gotten everything to get out of this room. But where are the billion exits? I only see one to that doorway. Well, I will definitely take advantage of this setup. That is a no-brainer right there. That's a one way the other way. That's no good. My gosh, these guys do so much damage. Alright, let's see what we got here. She doesn't charge all the way into me, though. That's curious. This is... This guy's a sword. He's too slow for... Or he's too fast for me using the uh, X. Alright. Let's see what's over here. Um... Seem problematic. Let's get the bird going. <laughs> Does no damage. Let's see what we got going on here. We can go down. Really not sure where I am right now. Somehow not dead. Alright, this should be... If I go down... I think, yeah. Okay, there's a... There's a nearby save point to here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there we go. Lucky. Alright, let's see what other relics we can put on. Nothing useful. Wow, I need more relics. I definitely need to farm after this boss. I'm not sure if the boss is right here. It might be. Yeah, this is, I think this is the boss. So this is an interesting, this is very different than most of the other boss fights because you do have these ads coming in, which I've been doing horrible against. It's a very bad sign. There's one. Seems to attack slower here though.
get this guy from range, see what we can do. Sadly, our range is longer than his range. Just zerg him down here. Now he's mad. for the content. Got him. There we go. Go to one last hit for the content. That's what we always do. You know, by design. So, not too hard. Um, his actual zone to get to him seems to be harder, but uh, the he went pretty, down pretty easily with the um, 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 ranged attacks from our witch so not too bad um i think that guy is the royal executioner so he's part of the royal clan essentially and he got stuck there so the verboten domain is where the mage cult is hiding The white priestess said, protect me. And he likes the white priestess. The healer and the executioner are very different roles. And they're both for the protection of the kingdom. You know, just like you would call the weak or take off buds that are diseased. That's what the executioner does. She's healing the, the roots that are already there. All right, so we basically zipped um, We zipped right through that point so we can get that grappling hook so we can go back to the uh, not only the catacombs but the keep and start getting some of these items. So, all in all, um, just wanted to take a diversion path there um, from my first playthrough. Not too bad. I will take these. Um, but not, uh, not too taxing. So now we have the grappling hook and we can grapple up here. And then we can go over here and get around out that way. But we're not going to. We're going to turn to respite, uh, save, and then we are going to go back to the catacombs to get some items in the catacombs because we feel super weak right now. The normal enemies are just destroying me. Um, I need to find some relics. So let's see. How do we get back to the catacombs? So this is catacombs. And you can see here, not only is there a lot of um, blue, which is 
places in the map where there's items still, but also, um, I can't go that way. Um, uh, but also, um, there's just a ton of, ton of these red areas where I haven't been to at all. So let's clear some of these rooms and see what we can find. Back to our uh, jive and music here. So it's over here. Oh, here's a relic right here. This is what we're looking for. We're looking for these relic boxes. Um, slightly reduces cooldown times. Not particularly helpful. I want either want better healing or better armor. Because. Um, there's three or four relics that reduce the damage you take, which are effectively giving you a type of armor, and I am getting destroyed by normal creatures, so I feel like I really need that type of armor. Alright, so that is not a normal grappling hook, so let's keep going to clear this room out a little bit more. <laughs> so it's behind door number three here. Just life. Let's see. It's gotta be something else in this room. The room is still blue. Door number four. <laughs> More lore. Alright, that room is gold. Let's go up and make these rooms gold. crossing back to the beginning of the catacombs. Also should clear some of the stockade. Um, believe there is an Umbral Knight upgrade in the stockade. So you can see that you can travel around the catacombs more easily with the um, with uh, the grappling hook itself. So let's go up here. Not sure if this actually gets me anywhere, but oh, this will. There we go. More stagnant blights. Okay, that's all for there. And then there's a down exit from here. Let's go check that out. I'm sure it makes that loop, but... Oh, interesting. It's a down slam. Alright, well, you've piqued my interest, game. Let's see what we got. Down here. I think this is like the first place I came in the catacombs in my first play. I remember being stuck in this room for a while. Because of these things. But you can kill the hives to get these things to stop coming out, which is nice. I've gained like five levels since just coming back to the catacombs. I'm so low level right now. For these guys, you just want to square off against them and dash when they dash into you. So you can tell they're about to dash when they squat. Pretty obvious secret there. Anytime the ceiling or the floor is different from the other places you've gone. I don't need to look too hard to find that secret. Oh. Oh. Mini boss.
Very cool. Not sure what uh, um, what the attack that many boss has. Presumably something to do with web. Um, but uh, we will. Fires arcane projectiles. Yeah, traps enemies. It's a webbing attack. I don't know. If that works against bosses, that could be reasonably useful. Um, I personally have a hard time imagining that that works against bosses. It's too powerful to trap a boss, but uh, uh, potentially it could be a, a nice one. Maybe if you level it up, it will work against bosses or something. Whoa. Okay. I'm just trying to open this door. I'm 90% sure this is the other side of the door that was locked. Yeah. Back to the safe point. All right, so for most of the exploration zones, there is um, a critical skill. Like for the catacombs, if you have the grappling hook, you can start golding out all these rooms, as you see. Um, for, so for most of these ex exploration zones, there's a critical skill that will unlock a lot of the stuff. Um, let's just do the top of the catacombs and call it a day. You have to go back to the stockade and get that. Uh, I can do that now, actually. Let's go back to the stockade and get that umbro. Uh, yes, believe. Go here and clear this really big room. I think this is where it is. Right. And so our goal is to smash through this. To do that, we have to get high enough to beat through it. All right, these guys are officially super annoying. Doesn't help that some random archer sniping me. So, the damage here is definitely way higher. There's something. Alright. Let's go over this one. Furious Blight. That's awesome. That's the main attack. As opposed to the uh, special lesser moves. This is a Gerard slash Elaine attack buff. Just trying to hit that guy from below. I think I still can definitely hit these guys from below. I'll just swing off that, get up there. So right down the middle? No. Not gonna fall. There we go. Now we can drop down here. Whoa. Unwelcome. Come here. We can use this level of or advantage. And then we'll do the same on this guy. I don't think he can hit me either if he's on a different level. Just put him up like that. Alright, let's see. Ancient soul. There we go. Simple as that. Don't want to farm too much of the stockade because there is other things in the stockade. Um, there are other movement abilities in the stockade that uh, are needed to farm some of the stuff. So we'll just take that and get out of here. Hands. Very nice. And now let's go back up top and do the rest of the catacombs. Oh, here's a good, nice blue spot in the catacombs to do. Good to go. Why is this room blue? What is in this room that we're missing? That is the question. Is there something on the ground here? 
Hmm, I actually don't know why this room is blue. Well, whatever it is, it's not up there. Must be missing a piece of lore somewhere or something. Now, where are we? So down is some stuff. Sure. We'll go, oh, there's there it is. Duh. Here's an exit. What is this? Ooh. Something exciting. This is a very late monster. Um, no idea what it's guarding, but that's uh, kind of in the forbidden domain. Oh, what is this? Increased potency of healing prayer. Okay, so stronger heal. It's one of the things we were looking for. Can you just go underneath that thing the whole way? Oh, is it going to show us another secret? Show me another secret. No, it's not. It's going to show me something I already found, apparently. Alright, that's still cool. I think I can swim through that. Yep. Alright, something else that makes this room still blue. And then we'll go back to the rest bit. Just air stall out there to get the kill. There's a bunch of guys waiting for me down there. There's another area here. There we go. There's another secret. And is that the room? That is the room. Alright, so now that room's gold, so let's return to respite. And I did see there is a grappling lantern here, so let's go back to that and uh, see what it is. I'm actually playing the game. I have no idea what's over here. Furious Blight. It's pretty nice, actually. If I can get back. All right. And what else? What else we got? So we can go right and we can go left. There's a lot of blue to the left. Yep, and I can make this jump. It's good. So there's blue in the boss room. What does that even mean? Did I miss a piece of lore? Why is this room blue? Oh, yeah, I did miss a piece of lore. All right. And there's blue in this room. Easy day. That, uh... Dashing through her blade so that I don't take the full blade damage. Taking damage from her is actually less than the blade damage. Of course, it would be better if I could do that and dash to them both. One thing I'm not clear on is if you actually have more damage as you gain levels. You may. Let's see what's up here. Maybe yeah, a fragment. Cool. Now that room's done. So you can see how navigating in the catacombs becomes way easier with the uh, grappling hook. In fact, the grappling hook is pretty heavily used in the fortress too, which is why I wanted to swing down and snag it real fast. Most helpful. Let's see, what am I missing in this room? There is a grappling hook, of course. More stagnant blights, not bad, not bad. Um, and then stuff to the left. Let's go ahead and save. Um, I am gonna. This Celine is really. destroying it. So I am gonna actually. upgrade her and then the bird still. It's all about the bird. Ooh, almost gonna upgrade the bird. Alright. 
And then let's get that healing relic on. Since I have nothing better to do. Oops, I want this. I want... I don't care about cooldown. I guess I do, because I have nothing else to put on. Alright, save that. Alright, we are feeling pretty beefy. We've got improved heal. Need some more armor relics, but otherwise... Yeah, this is the spider gauntlet. Shouldn't be too bad. And you can see, just, you know, I was here not half an hour game time ago, and these guys are now getting smoked by our improved abilities. However, there is, curiously... Uh, how do I get up there? Looks That looks breakable up top. I wonder if there's a wraparound. There. This looks something right out of Symphony of the Night right here. Throwing that... I don't even know what it's supposed to be, but throwing that scythe blade that spins... So this is a straight, basically just a key lock. It comes from facing the last, uh, facing some of the last zones bosses. Yeah, that looked like it was breakable over here. Um, definitely looked breakable. So this is just simple jumps. You no know equipment required to get that amulet fragment. All right, where are we going now? So I can't go that way, need the key, so just right, right, and straight to the keep. Let's do this. It's going to be a two-boss session. Get to do that lovely climb again. So much fun. I didn't even see what I... Oh, I picked up an amulet fragment. Yeah. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh my gosh, I am such a klutz. I literally fell for the same trap again. Same trap I fell for not half an hour ago. Um, the question is, is there any way back up? Look at that improved heal. So nice. Um, Alright. Fine. We will not fall into the same trap again noob ordinary dad ordinary gamer falling into the same trap multiple times oh my gosh i did it again missed my uh, ground pound there now now you're really watching <laughs> an ordinary guy play this game all right here we go let's try this again That might be, I don't know how you're supposed to get around that, but that might be required. Okay, you went into the water. Guy's got a death wish. Where is the last item in this room? Is it over here? I have no idea where I am. Maybe something up top here? Nope, that's the room exit. Let's find what we're looking for. The hunt begins. Where is the last item? So I was about to say this wall looks suspicious, but I guess not. Alright, here we go. Dash contest. This always feels like a dance-off. They're like doing some jazz fingers with their hand or something and then you do some jazz fingers somebody wins but in truth nobody wins a jazz fingers contest okay you can go up there where else do i need to look Okay, 
I'm confused now. I've been through this whole room. What am I missing? Don't tell me at home. Twitch chat. Oh, wait. I don't have a Twitch and I don't have a chat, so. Ha. Huh, they can't. No spoilers. Spoiler free Twitch chat right here. Nothing in those pots. Nothing on this level. I actually have no idea. Uh, Alright, well, we'll leave that one. It's going to drive me crazy. Uh, okay. Maybe you can jump up here because you can't see the ceiling? I don't know. Don't know. And here's another one. I always found this room annoying. You like fall into the pits as the little bugs are coming after you. As designed, right? It's supposed to be an annoying room, but it just seemed to take a long time. That's a powerful heal now. I like it. Guess I didn't have enough momentum to get that guy down in one shot. Now, am I missing something up here? There is a platform. Seems encouraging. And there's this. Is that just a fast way around? Okay, I'm missing an item in this room, too. That pot seems suspect. Maybe one of these pots will drop some. Oh, mimic. Yikes. Kill this guy. I'm going actually through this backwards here. It's making it hard to, harder to kill these monsters. But you know, we we want a challenge, right? Is this got something in it? Nope. Alright. You still have me stumped room. Let's keep looking. Do 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 do. For those of you who can't hear the music. Up oh, there is a lantern there. And here. There we go. Whoa. Okay, that clears that room. And then this has different noise. So I believe the room below us is that huge trust fall room, right? Yeah, it is. It's way easier with this, but let's see. What are we missing here in this room? Let's go here. This is just like a pathway up. Oh, that's suspect right there. Yeah, there we go. Um, something else is in this room. here. Is that it? That's it. All right. Thank goodness. We don't have to go up this room again. And this is where, you know, coming to catacombs after stockades. So nice. That room was such a pain in the patootie when we first went through it. But now a couple of uh, grappling hooks later, easy money. All right. So this is entering... Um, the, uh, I think this is actually like the f fortress or something. There's like a palace and there's a fortress. And I think this is the twin tower fortress side. Oh, come on. Can't tell me that thing didn't hit you. Feel poor for that guy. Johnny's not even swinging in the right direction. Well, that's nice. Found what uh, was here, but now I'm stuck in the water with these yahoos. And there's a lot of them. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of that water. 
seems like a bad rap. I don't know if that guy can cross underneath the bridge. Apparently not. Oop. Uh, so these birds, again, upgrade the concept. The concept is the bird. And then the bird will actually... Um, The bird will actually um, um, get a new move. The new move is invisibility, attacks behind you like that stupid axe assassin guy. Oh, now I'm shivering. Now, right, here we go. Save there. Actually, let's see if the gotten enough to enhance my bird is the word oh my gosh I'm one short oh it's quite unfortunate all right where are we going is left I'm not even sure is this the palace do I have a choice palace versus keep Maybe? Well, regardless, I'm going to keep first. Right, I'm going this way. Whatever this is. Twin Towers or something? Twin Spires. There it is. This is, I think one of the most iconic music tracks scores in the game. Um, and again, this game has a very melancholic track, um, which honestly I think is perfect for it. I don't think you need to have anything super pick me up super actiony I think one of these ways this is a big like open the door at the top I think I have to go all the way around down here Honestly, my sword is getting so fast that's probably the best way to kill these monsters um, this is definitely like go all the way around, open the door to the top, and then you're set. Sword's getting so strong that I'm going to start switching the sword right after the first uh, hammer. I love this track. It just slowly builds and then takes it away, builds again. So those dragon guys, um, they like stab you and then jump back like that. So. And then they stayed still for a second. Uh, that is not how you fight them. Take me a little bit to remember how to fight these guys. It's clearly not the rhythm either. I wonder if one act. Oh my gosh, taking a lot of damage. Taking a lot of damage. I wonder if one hammer is enough to knock them out of the air. Okay, those guys are definitely enhanced skeletons. They are firing fast. So, looks like two to knock out of the air, um, which is obviously not ideal. Um, so, have to get two on them to stun them. Oh, I 
almost pulled it off. Almost got back onto the platform. So I swang my hammer and then I dash and then I air stalled with the hammer again and killed one and almost got on the platform to kill the other. I was almost super sick as it turned out. I became just a normal dad. Screw up. That's definitely the play. Let them swing and then move in. Okay. That is the play. I believe I am actually close to opening the door I need to open. I just need to kill a couple more guys, so I try and push forward. Turn on my bird. A little long ranged. The lane. Should be using a lane on more of the normal guys. No shame in the lane. Elaine OP, and this is... Whoa! Did look like a suspicious door. The door, in fact, was suspicious. Oh, this is what opens it. Okay, that's the needed door. Alright. So now... That... Goes back to here goes back to the rest point so the first first checkpoints open that is awesome let's go regen I think I have gotten um, one nope I haven't all right let's make our way to the top of twin spires got try and finish twin spires and get another boss fight out in this uh, section. Now we don't have to go all the way around the room again. So all the Dark Souls, uh, we can now just go straight up this platform. And here we are, back to where we stopped. All right, let's go. Well. These things were dropping fragments. Let's see if they drop any more. Wow, three Furious Blight Fragments. That was totally worth. That's really good. Not being sarcastic at all. All right. Now what have we got here? Knock him. Okay, as soon as he knocks down, he's dead. So just need to combo him with two of those. These are just like the guys from the very beginning. All right, so come with this guy. Boom, boom. All right, that is that is how you deal with those guys. Why would I use those? Is there anything anywhere to go with that? No, just to avoid those guys. We do not run from dragon knights. Now we know the secret. Ah, oh, here's a new one. Ooh, that one. Okay, we run from that one. He hit hard. Mama. There we go. We do not run from Dragon Knights. Just that one that kicked my butt. All right, let's get this heal going. Where 
Where'd that guy go? There he is. I can just combo him on the ground. Yeah, we can definitely hit this these guys from over here. Poor guy doesn't even know what's happening to him. Ooh, there's a guy go get that. Come on now. My daughter starts saying, Come on, man, like she's Joe Biden. It's so funny. She'll be like, Dad. We have to have chicken nuggets for dinner. Come on, man. Like, okay. You're pulling out the Joe Biden. We better make some chicken nuggets. Oh, that was sick. Got him on the rebound. Pretty sure there's something up here. Lies. Get him. There we go. Chain of Sorcery. We take that. Someday, God willing, we'll have relics to use it with. Still good, though. We can pretend like we're actually going to be able to use that someday. So this opens that door, and then I go all the way around, I believe. Oh, you want some of this? No problem. Here you go. So again, Stockade has tons of the uh, grappling hooks around. You can actually get off your full combo before they even do anything. This is this. Let's go up and get this. And a little fragment. Not bad, not bad. Alright, where am I going? What am I doing? About to say, I have not linked this up yet. Now I have. So now instead of coming through this entire room, I can just go to the right. Uh, and that's very much both Twin Spires and the Palace. Just feel like this endless. Oh, there's more stuff here. Wanna come down here, buddy? I'm ready for you. Let's go get what's out here. Snag and play. Alright. Definitely can upgrade my crow now. Yeah, but it's funny uh, watching your kids grow up and hearing them use any colloquialisms. My daughter got a lot of stuff from her sister, but also <laughs> saying, saying things because she's watched debates where the president keeps on saying, come on, man, over and over again to news reporters or during the presidential debates is, is pretty endearing. It's pretty hilarious. All right. We got some dragons here. The ugly dragons. I think there is... Save point nearish. Maybe it's down. Alright. Seems bad. Oh, it is down. Okay. It's not bad. Dropping down when you can't get back up seems like a bad idea. Just happened to be the right way this time. Rain's different here. It falls in snow of death. Can we get this game to be any more melancholic? And I love it for it. Love it for it. Can't 
go there. So that's an ability we're going to get pretty soon. Come here. You know you want to come down here. Boom. Boom. I still got to move off of me. couple of stuff outside here on the castle walls which um, we have no way to access so there's a lot of tower levels clock towers twin spires you know this is a this is actually a staple of the genre too where you know that you're trying you're basically trying to climb to the top of the tower I mean everyone knows that the boss is at the top of the tower um, in all of these Metroidvania games. If there's a tower, the boss is at the top of it. It's not the bottom of the tower, it's not the right part of the tower, it's at the top of the tower. Um, but getting there is usually pretty convoluted. Thank you, game, for giving me some invulnerability there. Die, crow. Um, so do you think these twin spires are exactly the same way yeah, and, and i have played this game before but uh not really remembering a lot of it now uh if that becomes apparent by how much i'm getting hit i have played the start of this game twice and this part of the game i've only played once so a little more experience with the start oh there's multiple birds there um because I played the start by myself and I played the start with Chris and Gary previously as well. So, um, I remember being in the Twin Spires for a very long time. I'm going to try and complete this in this uh, recording. That you have to get with the wall, wall climbing, which obviously I don't have access to yet. Where am I going? We've got, we have gained a ton of levels this session. I think we've doubled our levels, which is good because I thought we were pretty low. Pretty sure he's dead. This is back where I was. Okay. Just making sure I'm not missing any items. That uh, item outside the wall. We won't be able to get, so this room will remain blue forever. Um, let's go. Next room. And I already was in this room. This leads back to the dragons. Ooh, that was not good. That was not a good time to pull up, and neither was that. Oh my gosh. Ledge mechanics. Ah, uh, it's death number three. That's bad. Uh, it's also bad. I don't think I actually gained anything from that run. Attacking. I heard the flapping of the wings and I saw the red spots. The red spots are actually my, uh, my friendly ghosts that are helping me. No, not that one. Well, made it through with just one heal. Probably better than I would have done if I had gone the whole way. There's another elevator there. Alright, so there's multiple dragon spawn waiting for me here. That guy's dead. He's in the water. Let's take him down here. Come down here. Or not. There we go. 
Actually, I think the key for those is being set up and ready for them to come to you. Have a swing in, have your first swing for your stun uh, in mid swing so that when they come, you have them. Oh, this is just a, just a thing. Stagnant plate. No, still nice. All right, so I guess I'm gonna need to go up this elevator. Where are we going now? I can actually go back down and get this guy. Guess it's not really a big deal. <laughs> it's not even worth it. So I want to proc that. Oh, wow. Well, can't you charge far? Don't you feel special? So, when you're slightly problematic when you have combinations of enemies that so for these guys I want to have this ready for when they come the, my Gerard's hammer but the um, shielded guys I've been killing with my sword so the combination of the two of them together is slightly problematic because the sword will knock the guy out of his charge and the um the sword will not knock the uh, dragon out of his charge and the... What is this? It's another save point. We take that. Meanwhile, the um, hammer won't work against the shield. So. I actually don't like this save point because it has that <laughs> enemy combination right outside of it. Seem to be slightly split up better this way, but still not not the enemy combination I want to come out to. So you have to pull these one at a time. There we go. Dash to this guy, and then we are going up. Let's go. Let's go. That was lemmings for anyone who was wondering. Probably weren't wondering, but you know. Two of them. This is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. So that's just like a bigger version of the other knight with the shield. Does a lot more damage with his great sword. His outrageously sized sword. Um, but uh, still not too not too difficult to take care of. Alright, let's see if we can find anything going on over here. Can't make that. Okay. JK. Alright. So there's looks like a bunch of different paths right here. I'm gonna take this one up first. See what's up. It looks like a bunch of different paths, but in reality, I can't go this way. So I have to go around. Classic. Dark Souls is in full effect for the Twin Spires. Alright, let's climb up. See what we got. We got a really bad jump. Stay under the ledge. Be safe from that guy. Catch him with the sword on the way down. I feel like getting onto that platform actually was detrimental to me. There. This has not been as clean as a climb as it should have been. Let's see what's over here. What is this? More dragons? What is this? So... That's probably dragons to a save point, I would say. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna open up this door. 
That looks like it might. Oh, there's a flower here. Maybe it's not a save point. Be awfully early to have a flower if it was a save point. But, all right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Is this jump? Okay, that's the right platform. What is nothing? It's glowing up here. That is a monster. Makes a big pink area. Open this door. I think I can sneak into that other. Yeah, definitely can. What is that over there? Where am I? In that place that makes me safe from all these monsters. And that ain't bad. Showing me that there's a path down below all here. Oh, here's the entrance to that path. Oh, it's just uh, one way. What is actually here, though? A relic. Now we're talking. What do we got? Increases the SB gauge by one. So the SB gauge, I believe, and to be honest, I am not 100% sure, but it's, I believe it's that pink gauge in the bottom left-hand corner. And when it reaches max, you can do a special attack with whatever weapon you have equipped. By hitting up in the weapon. I've, I've activated it. Oops. That was not how you do that. Um, I've accidentally activated it a couple of times. You know what? You want some of this? There you go. You want to be long range? I can be longer range. Um, hmm. Long range. Um, you've seen like, and I can show you maybe in this next room against these guys. Um, why, why do you make me go around again? Um, me accidentally activated against. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna. Or not. Now, um, you see me accidentally activate it. So this is the X attack, up attack for the sword. Massive sword hit. And it... Um, comes back as you hit enemies so I believe just gives me another round of that attack oh this is a this is a little mini gauntlet here isn't it um there's another one in here for sure painful of a mini gauntlet. But uh, we get a uh, weapon refill right there. Oh, that's painful. Alright, let's put the bird away. 
how do we oh there's a flower refill there too that's very nice they recognize that they're putting us through a mini gauntlet oh there's some dragons in there that's good I'm gonna switch to Elaine Go through this mini gauntlet. Recharge my specials. See if I can Elaine burst this guy down. Um, I think one of the things that I didn't do enough when I was going through the game initially was um, use my special attacks on normal monsters. And that's something I'm actually bad about with Mega Man 2. Um, I, I only use my Mega Man weapons on like the bosses of Mega Man instead of using my special attacks for the stage to make the stage easier. Um, I think it, I mean, you can see I still have like 60 charges left, so really no harm, no foul. Don't run away, come back. Um, so I think that, uh, while it is nice using unlimited attack, it's also nice just getting through the stage with elegance. Alright, there's that. Where are we going? We're stunning, that's what we're doing. Alright. And they recognize that this is a longer run, so they have given us um, some amount of flowers on the way. Hmm, this looks like a fun section. Looks like you can drop down here. Yeah, you can. Wow, there was a lot of rats there. This activates a switch. What does that do? Ooh, another platform. Let's go up. Accept. And then... Oh, there's guys up here. Alright. Let's get interesting. Here we go. Memory serves. This is a pretty big treasure cache. Come on, dude. Don't make me beg. Almost. But then fell back down, so it's all for now. Alright, let's see what this cache is. I think one of them is behind a key door, so I can't open it rightly. They're all behind the key door, but it is a big cache. It's one of the it's one of the big payouts. I was just wondering if I could get anything besides the big payout, but apparently I can't. So we're gonna fall all the way back down. And that means we took a massive hit for nothing. That's one of, like, I think those caches are each, like, 300 stagnant or the other type of blights. So, massive cache payout. Unfortunately, not for us. And now, we are on Death's Door. 
So we need to find the next save. And they have me doing blind drops. That's not appreciated. Well, there you go. The next save. Um, apparently there's a save to the left, but it wouldn't have made a difference. I still had to go around because there are one-way doors on both sides. All right. Um, did I get... I got a relic, right? Pretty sure. What did I get? I got increases spirit gauge by one. Nothing else really worth writing home about. So, let us take a look. Did not want to go back up. Well, actually, maybe I did want to go up. Okay, I can full combo sword them. Too bad. Okay. I don't think there's enough elevators in this area of the tower. Need more cowbell. That's too slow. Yeah. That's fast enough. Oh, that's a dirty trick. You dash through them and there's a guy on the other side waiting for you. Well played game, well played. All right, so that's the way I'm gonna wanna go through. But I can't yet. Can I drop? Can I get below that? Is that the play? Leave this at the top, come back down, go below. That's the play. Whoa. That's a little cheap. Am I doing this backwards? Why is there all these blind drops? Whoop. DPS not high enough. Felt like I did that backwards. Well, definitely not where I'm supposed to hit that from, but it worked. Alright, let's see. Where are we going? open some door over there. I feel like that's just the door to get through this room faster, but I'm still totally confused by this room. Uh, I guess I'm going this way. Right? I haven't gone this way yet, I don't think. I feel like there's a lot of monsters to the left too, so that bodes well. That was a long... Let's try it. Let's try this again. It's a little long... Oh, there's something. It's on the other side. Oh, maybe it's in the middle. Yeah, it's in the middle. It's a long, suspicious column. Got to think that there's something there. Yeah. A little power up there for our crow. And now it looks like we're going outside the first spire. No. 
totally lost. Come on, let me out. My idea is to drop down again here. Not sure if that's right, but it's doable. So that's something. And that's where the door was. This is where the door was, so. Okay, seems right. These guys are right out of Dark Souls, the big knights that you fight in Dark Souls shield mechanics except ironically you have to block their strikes not uh, dodge around their shield so a little backwards but definitely a tribute right there all right this is definitely the right path oh Christ the guy had like one hit left and I didn't hit him all right well I think we opened up to go along that bottom path so we should be okay We still have to go back around to get underneath this. Wow. Go around to get underneath that. There's just... What? Why is this like this? I think I got RNG'd by that last guy. Am I navigating? I don't feel like I'm navigating this room right. I feel like I am taking the long way around. Oh, Christ. Yeah, I don't didn't do this any faster. I'm doing the exact same path. I go down here, then I go right here. Yeah, except. Oh, okay. That's the shortcut. Fine. All right. Now I get it. I was like, how is this a shortcut? I opened the door. I didn't do anything. That's the shortcut. There's an ex another exit out of the... Whoa. Well, this is problematic. Wow, there's literally just a memory behind there. A great little secret, guys. <laughs> there's no item. Somebody forget to place the item there. Yeah, I'll just go back to the save point. Now that I've actually figured out how to open this shortcut, get my heels back. All right, so don't go to that mimic because it sucks. Maybe it's supposed to be a right limit to your movement. So, 
This is the for realsies run. No more screwing around. Don't screw around in shop class. People get hurt if you screw around in shop class. Whoops. Turn around fast that time. Touche. You got me. Got him. All right. Back to this little schmuck that killed me. Okay, he's definitely going faster. That one is 100% going faster than the others. These are all getting ranged down. I'm not taking these cheap shots anymore. Cool. Shenanigans. This is shenanigans. We don't have to put up with it. for these guys. Just the eyeballs. Right. Like this one. How do you like ridiculous range? Schmuck. So, I basically didn't use a lane at all the first playthrough, and I am definitely digging her right now. That's a claw up. Okay. Yeah, saw that. Okay. Let's see what we're doing here. There's something below me. Yep, there's a platform here. Doesn't appear to be anything else down there, though. Cover a small amount of hit points when you deal damage. I like that. Seems like good sustainability there. This feels like I'm getting close to boss land. Which is good, because it's late. And I want to complete this uh, vid. It's a longer one. Tried to get two bosses in, but it's taking the twin spires. Still taking a long time to get through. Feels like I'm feels like this has gotta be like a rest point and then the boss. It is neither the rest point nor the boss. Alright. So scratch, scratch, scratch. But we are going in one way pathways, so that's promising. Oh, I see. This is the old. So this was in. Whew, this was in a Castlevania a long time ago, long ago. Rising platform where you had dragon skeletons coming in and throwing stuff and doing stuff. You just know there's a hidden platform somewhere on this side. Gross. Alright, you guys are officially annoying.
Yep, they're annoying. Um, that's a birdie bird bird time, I think, right there. Probably shouldn't have died to that, but they are indeed annoying. I'm just going to go past these guys. Can I? I have to kill them, I guess. Let's get the dragons first, then. Did a half my health in one shot. I call shenanigans. I was not in that. way to get up here without having to do this again. Oops. God, these ledge grabs are... Yeah, that auto grab is like screwing me. I open a door up top. Does that get me a fast pass up top? Probably should. All right. from below. Now we'll get this lane, that one. Thank you. That's lovely. So we got that. Got two guys here. All right, one more guy here. Calling shenanigans. Like this door. I feel like this door leads somewhere. Like this door. I feel like that was opened up to maybe the elevators. Should try that next time. So I'm going to have to do this. Annoying gauntlet. Alright, it's just about. Just about getting them right as they come on screen. There's not too many of them.
What's this? An annual fragment. Five hit points for all of that, but you know what? The boss is up here. I can feel it. Which means there should be a rest site up here, but we have to get by these dragons first. Goodness, more stuff. All right, what do we got? Various blight, not bad. And a lot of guys flying there. Can't do too much about. And the exit is up. Ooh, that was close. Um, this looks like an alternative way to climb the tower. Let's see. Yeah. This is the only way up, so... All that circling around I did the other way is pure, apparently pointless. Kind of awkward. There we go. You got him. Going. We are playing ultra safe. Try to get up to that save point there. Huh, looks fun. I got knocked back. Well, we will deal with that when we get there. That's an Elaine room. There's at least one more of these guys. No? guy down there. That little guy's going to be the death of me. <laughs> I'm going to get killed by the first monster in the game. down here. No blind jumps. 
thought it was on Gerard. I almost walked right into that. Another skeleton down here. Chest up there. This climb isn't too bad. No, you can do it. Yes. Give that to me. Now I can foolishly lose all my health again. So, there is one switch there that I missed. That's fantastic. Slightly increased damage while airborne. That's not bad. All right. Let's get this guy down. And then let's make our run. I think this... I don't know. If memory serves, this might be a timed run, actually. There we go. Yeah, I think I already met this is pretty close timer. Couple of hard jumps in it. There we go. All right, we are in business again. Spectre Gerard for this guy. Switch back to Elaine for this guy. Can't. So you know what? We're just gonna skip him. All right, prep that one. I don't know what they were thinking with this climb. This guy's. Can't hit you from there. All right, we are almost out of the lane. But we are to the top. Is there anything I can open here? Whoa. Is there a pathway there to open? I don't want to go down there. This feel, this has got to be a safe point. Yes. All right. We're in business. 